Hey guys, friggin' Fitz here. And I was just searching around in my cave system underneath the whole world. And I was uh, just walking along and I noticed Kalos and I was like, damn, I've been here before? And then there's some moss here right there. So I believe this is a spawner. And it is. And why nothing spawning is beyond me. Do have it on normal. I guess, oh, nope. There's a zombie. So a zombie spawner. That's alright. I don't intend to destroy it. Ooh. Got me. Way easier than skeletons to deal with, though. And kind of a useless spawner, but we'll see what I can do with it. I guess I'll just keep it. It's got like a large chest set up down here. I guess what I'll do with it is I'll light it up for now. There's no need to really get rid of it, I don't think. I don't know if they can spawn out here, so I'm just going to light up this whole area. I've heard that they can spawn in like different, like in a five block radius of where it is or whatever, which is usually just inside this, but you know, whatever. Alright, so let's see what I got. I got a saddle. I have no clue what the use for that is. Bunch of wheat. Another saddle. Not stackable, damn it. Some cobweb. There's no string. Iron ingots, which I can have a use for in a second. Alright, I gotta figure out something to get rid of. Uh, I'll eat one of my mushroom stews. Oh, there we go. Wow, five hearts. Not bad, not bad. Cocoa beans. I don't know what that is. <sighs> what do I want to do? What do I want to do? No, I can put some of this stone stuff up here. Really, I got the pickaxe I kind of want to keep on me. The sword I also kind of want to keep on me, but those two things can go away. Oh, sorry for my dog barking. My mom just got home. I guess I'll take a bucket for now. Hey right, guys, so that was what I found in my first monster spawner, which is a zombie spawner. So, I'll meet you back on the surface after I collect some of this shit and figure out my way out. But I just wanted to show you that I had finally, finally found a monster spawner. And this is way deep in my cave system, but like I said, I'll keep it alive. I think eventually what I want to do, I kind of forgot about this as a possibility, is just make a mob grinder, which will just be a giant dark area. Which actually, I think I might have said this before, but just use a giant dark area as my monster and just have monsters spawn into it because honestly gunpowder and bones and st uh, what's it called bones st and string and all that are the best types of items anyway so I'll be back in a bit guys uh yeah hey guys freaking pits back here again uh, after the mob spawner. I didn't break the mob spawner and I was able to find my way back to it, but it's really far down in this cave system. There's my nether portal going off. Yeah, let's see. My sound is way down. I feel like I gotta turn that down even more though. I don't, I don't want it. Whatever. Alright, so I'm just coming down here to check my mushroom desk farm. Oh wow, I actually did a pretty good job. So that's this is my mushroom farm, as you can obviously see. Uh, I don't really know what I'm doing with it so much right now. Uh, I know what I'm doing with them. I'm using the, to get these mushroom stews because they're way better to eat than the cruddy one, two, three. Up. There we go. So now there's an even amount of both brown and red mushrooms. I don't know if one's rarer than the other, but I have an equal amount of both in my chest end up end in here, so I'm not worried about it. I use those two dirt just to block it off just in case light gets in because I know they need darkness. Uh, I do have it on peaceful right now because I got really annoyed when I was down in the cave system, and I'm sure all of you who are watching this and have played Minecraft have done it. You just shut it off. It just needs to go away at some points. So yeah, and now I have more red mushrooms than brown mushrooms, but 30 and 46 ain't doing bad. I found a whole bunch of them when I was exploring that cave. I'll go down and show that to you in one of the future episodes. But for right now, let's head to the nether. I did a lot in the nether. No, I didn't do a lot in the nether, but we're going to be making a second nether portal out of this one. 
Like, we're gonna go down. I've already built up an area where we're gonna be making another portal. And we're just leaving it on peaceful because I don't want to deal with it right now. I'm really fed up with that bullshit. So, just one straight line. And yeah, just kept it going in this direction. Look at that monster shit right there. And I figured out what Soul Sand does. It makes me walk slow. That's about all I can tell. I don't know if it has an actual use yet. I had a lot of trouble putting up my episodes because of uh, internet problems in my area. Actually, a garbage truck took out like four telephone poles. Like, it took down two telephone poles, I think, and a uh, whole bunch of phone, internet, and TV wires. So I was without all of that for like two days, which sucked. But it's all good now. So here's a little cave area, oh, another cave area that I found, but I didn't like it, so I went up here and found this awesome view of the nether, which happens to be over lava, which I did fall into and lost a lot of shit, trying to put down this very last piece of this puzzle right here. But nonetheless, we're going to make the nether portal right here. It's got to be two, three, four wide. One, uh, two, three, four, four. Yep. Let's get rid of this shit. This seems like it's too high. It's only got to be six wide or six high or six big. I don't know. Apparently I didn't get rid of enough. Uh, and also, uh, I think the Terraria multiplayer with Christian may have fallen through due to technical difficulties. Uh, I did not bring a flint and steel, so I'll have to go back and get that on my own. Let's see, is this the right size or is this too big? Uh, one, two, three... Sorry, it's uh, yeah, it's sorry, it's size. All right, sweet deal. All right, guys, so I'll be right back over here with my flint and steel. So, yeah. All right, guys, I'm back, and back to the multiplayer thing with Christian. Uh, I might do like a Terraria, the adventure playthroughs with him. So anyway, let's light up this uh, another portal. There we go. And oh uh, yeah, let me just show you what I've done over here. There's some soul sand down there. Another egg. There's gravel, which is really stupid that that's in this friggin' nether. A uh, bunch of crap that direction. Uh, but yeah, so I just wanted to do this once just to see what was what, and try and getting all this obsidian killed me a few times because I'm an idiot when it comes to getting obsidian. Let's see where I spawned. Oh, not a bad spawn. It doesn't look like. Interesting. I mean, out in the middle of nowhere, but, you know, I've just, watching other people's playthroughs, I'm, I'm not mad at this spawn. I saw a Jevin spawn under the ground in a giant cave system, and then in the air. So, I mean, I ain't doing bad with a spawn on flat ground, uh, in the middle of a forest biome. Doesn't look like there's water in any direction. Let me get up here and get a bird's eye view of it all. Yeah, there is no water to be found. There's some sand that way, so maybe there's water over near that sand. But, yeah, so basically just land as far as we can see. And crap, I hope I didn't already lose my way to that portal. That wouldn't be a good thing. Oh, there it is. I'm going to make sure I keep this so I know where it is. Uh, let me just turn down my sound when I'm around this thing. I'm playing on peaceful anyway, so... No need to be listening to shit. The sound that that thing makes is just unbearable. I have yet to see how bad it is on YouTube. But depending on how bad it is will depend on how much I alter these playthroughs around that area. <sighs> yeah, so just clearing out the little spot for this. And you know, I just want to make sure I basically never lose this thing. So we're going to be building... Oh, shit, shit, shit. Wrong thing. Let's just 
just throw torches down even though I'm playing on peaceful just to make sure you guys can see and because I like to have torches down I want to go exploring forgot that I broke my compass when I died too it's kind of annoying but nonetheless I want to go exploring but I do need to make sure I keep my direction back to this portal and what I'm about to do right now is just basically make it so that I cannot lose this portal I'm gonna build this around it because I like that idea Oop. and now apparently I'm gonna build up again knock that one down though one two three two three one two alright so whatever right here I'm just going up put a torch at the top survive this fall yep alright then that is just to make sure I do not lose the portal it's basically like an airplane finding its way back so there's a giant pole with a torch on it so I shouldn't lose my way and I wanted to go exploring in this direction towards the sand and visible stone and let's throw sound back on now that we're away from that and I think that I might be running out of time so this might be just about it so I just want to explore around here for a little